there, and welcome to Unveil Your Brilliance with Anjali Kapoor here on the Win Win Women TV Network, where each week we explore helping you to break free from the illusions that are holding you back. I am your host, Anjali Kapoor. I am also a conscious leadership coach, as well as an empowerment strategist, multi-book author, inspirational speaker, and the founder of Oversight Global. At Oversight Global, we are a leadership company that is on a mission to address the consciousness crisis in the world one leader at a time. A woman in harmony with her spirit is like a river flowing. She goes where she will without pretense and arrives at her destination prepared to be herself. Now, this is a beautiful quote by Maya Angelou, which beautifully captures the essence of a woman in tune with her divine feminine energy and the true harmony that this flow, authenticity, and confidence creates. Now, how powerful and intriguing of a perspective is that, right? Now, as always, I like to share quotes with you that relate to the topic of our episode discussion, and this week is no different. Now, on today's episode, we have a truly inspiring guest joining us to share her expert wisdom, thoughts, and insights on the importance of why we women need to be able to flow in and out of both our masculine and feminine energy. Now, before I bring her on, again, just a friendly reminder to keep a lookout for our episode segments, our show pillars, which we make sure we touch on each week, and they are brilliant mindset, breaking free, and brilliant strategies during our discussion. So without further ado, let's go ahead and welcome our special guest for today, Tanya Diamond, onto the show. Now, I am so thrilled to have our guest for today here with us. Now, before I bring her on, let me tell you a bit about her. So today we are joined by esteemed polymath, business and life strategist, five-time number one international best-selling author, two-time international TEDx speaker, Tanya Diamond. She is here today to help us explore the art of balancing masculine and feminine energy in both business and life, and how a healthy integration of both energies can lead to greater success, happiness, and fulfillment. Tanya's extensive knowledge and unique worldwide education have make her the perfect expert to guide us through this important topic and teach us how to weave in and out of both of those energies for optimal balance and and harmony. So get ready to be hit with some knowledge, be inspired and empowered, ladies, as we welcome Tanya Diamond to the show. Tanya, welcome to Unveil Your Brilliance. Thank you so much for joining us. I am totally excited to be here. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So one of the first things that I want to do is, um, you know, I'm aware that a lot of ladies might not be aware of feminine and masculine energy and what exactly that means. So I think, um, you know, it'd be great if we can actually define that for them. So we know what we're talking about. (laughs) Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Not some like, woo, kind of term out there that's ambiguous. Well, everything we, I think we're at the time in life or, you know, in the, in, yeah, in life where we can all say that we understand everything is energy. Right. You know, I was teaching back way before Oprah made energy cool, like way back when, when people would say energy, what? (laughs) So now I can walk in and say, okay, we can all agree on energy and energy is what I consider neutral until we charge it. So Mm. meaning our intent has a lot to do with the energy going on. And sometimes intent is unconscious. And most of us are programmed and 97% of our decisions are made from our subconscious space and our program. So we might not even realize the intent that we're projecting into the world Mm -hmm. but we everything in nature is a mix of and people think the yin and the yang right or the masculine and the feminine right but everything has a uh, give and a take a receive and internal external right you can say moon and the sun and the tide going in and out and trees close flowers closing up at night and opening during the day i mean these are just examples right Mm -hmm. that things are in flux yes so even if you don't believe in the idea of masculine feminine energy you can all agree that there's things in flux nothing is static in nature Mm -hmm. right we can be static yes so when we're static 
that's when our energy is stagnant. Mm, okay. That's when we might not operate within the laws of nature and the laws of physics, we can actually get stagnant somewhere. Right. So, okay. What is feminine energy? When a lot of people, when they, especially if they go research that, they'd be surprised to see me wearing black <laughs> because feminine energy, shouldn't I like be in the flow and being in a purple gown and being yeah. all like odyssey, <laughs> la, 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 <laughs> ethereal, uh, no, <clears throat> that what you wear can impact how you act. Right. If you think that black is a masculine color right, or a hard color, right? So feminine energy, if we think of it as more like the act of creation, right? If you think about nature, um, birthing, mm -hmm. right? So is typically a feminine uh, experience to birth. Right. You can actually birth mass in masculine energy. Oh. And a lot of hospitals actually make people do that, right? Mm. The push, push, do it now, do, do, do. That's actually that's force. Yeah. So if you think that our hospital systems are actually making women birth in a masculine energy, that's why we tear and have all of these other things happening. Oh, wow. We were, I know. If we were in nature we'd be more quiet. If you watch animals birth, you know, there's yeah. some sound, but it's slow. It's so much slower and there's a rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. so feminine also is in the rhythm, in the flow of how things are. Right. Okay. Masculine energy is driving energy. And you can just think about sex too, right? Women receive masculine action, energy. Mm -hmm pushing inward. So right. if you're leaning in, you're in a masculine. If you're kicking back, you're in the feminine. feminine right. So even our body language, right? Oh. Has right energy, the tone of our voice. Mm -hmm. If I spoke to you like this, and I was really adamant about something like this, and I had my voice really charged. Yeah. Okay. That would be masculine. Action. Right. <laughs> if I drop just drop my voice a little bit. And actually sew the pace and be more musical and a little bit more in the flow. And that's feminine energy. Right. So it's it's in everything we do. Yeah. In lean out, voice tone, how we drive, how, uh, yeah, drive literally. Mm -hmm. how we drive how we uh, walk into nature. When you go on a hike, are you like, oh, hiking, 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 getting, duck, 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 duck. that's hiking in a masculine energy. Mm hmm if you more wander, stop and look, be in the presence of what's happening, that's more feminine. Right. But we're designed each gender or all the genders, let's just mm -hmm. say there's each, are designed to have equal, to be in both because nature is in harmony that way too. Right. So we get stagnant. We get an idea in our head or we're, or we're programmed to select, let's say our mom, let's say you're raised by a single mom. Mm hmm was so busy and had two jobs and she was curt and this was how it was going to be and we got to get this done and that because she was in survival mode to right. feed the kids raise the kids she was running masculine energy mm -hmm. most of the time as a woman when you run masculine energy you can actually burn your chemistry out if you don't infuse it you will get burned out fast. right right so, and if you're in a masculine, if a man, if, with a man, if they run too much feminine energy, they lose their purpose and drive. They actually lose testosterone levels, start to drop too. Oh, wow. Women's raise, men's drop. And it, nature's always seeking harmony, not balance, because balance means equality, like equal, same mm -hmm. all the time. The harmony, harmony. Right. And so even in relationship, if a woman's driving the masculine, the man will automatically either be in competition, which is horrifying. That's when you get that big raging, yeah, you know, fighting that kind of thing. Or he'll he won't if he loves you, he won't want to be in that space. So he'll he'll water down, mm -hmm. and then you'll be like, what's wrong with you? Why can't you? So you'll drive that masculine in hard, and he'll just acquiesce even more. Mm -hmm. And typically, when I'm doing couples workshops, that's how they come to me. Women are like. In their masculine, and the man's just sitting there, like, "Yeah, she made me come." Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm here because she told me I was going to be here. Uh, that kind of thing, right. 
So uh, how we parent, we can parent in a masculine or feminine way, which is the, one of the reasons that we do better when there's a father and a mother. Right. Yeah. In harmony. The kids have the balance of both of those things coming across. Mm. Oh my gosh. So many nuggets of wisdom already. So while we were talking about that, a couple of things came up for me. Now, I come from a, a background of being in healthcare, the corporate world for over 20 years. And when I got out and entered the coaching world, uh, I had a really hard time tapping into my feminine energy because I realized that I was in masculine energy all the time because of all that structure. And so yeah. I also recognize that a lot of women have that problem as well. So I mean, how can a woman, you know, recognize that she has both energies and she needs to have that harmony and be able to do that? I mean, it took me years to figure out how to do it myself. So. Yeah. Well, I have a funny story where um, it, that wasn't corporate, it's dating, but it'll go, it'll be the same. Mm -hmm. Two things. One, my dad was a very powerful, very masculine male right in his masculine right but he was also the guy that would just break out and do hip dance and he put on music and then did salsa dance and stuff in the house right so mm -hmm. and my mother was a super strong woman but she's an artist as well oh okay and so both of them were in and out of this flow but I wanted to be my father mm. I saw my father as a success my mom stayed at home right yeah. even though she did a lot of cool stuff she did a lot of cool stuff i didn't recognize that cool i wanted success to me meant like make money m be powerful be influential right? right so i even emulated my dad walking through an airport when i was six you know i would like walk like my dad and i'd be like my dad so <laughs> i remember my dad turning around to me one day and saying you're going to be very lonely if you can continue that mm -hmm. i was like what are you saying and he, he, even then he said, you know, if you want to act manly, you're going to repel or compete with a lot of men. Mm -hmm. And I thought he had no idea what he was talking about. I was like 16 or something. But what I noticed when I went, I went to work for him for a little bit, that his secretary in a hard corporate environment only wore skirts and mm. she was very, she was older uh, wise, but definitely in her feminine, right? Even though she, what he did was super high powered. And so she was under, would have been under the same stress or whatever, providing yeah. all this action. She was organized, detailed, but how she flowed in it mm -hmm. was totally different. And I kept looking at that. And I asked my dad, I said, I would think you'd have somebody different as a secretary, given all the power that influence and all this stuff that has to happen. And he goes, oh no, that's why I have her. Mm. because she's going to stay structured while keeping things stress-free. Wow. So there was a dynamic going on there that was really interesting, but I forgot all about it and went on to be like, you know, I do I was scuba diving with Navy SEALs and rappelling out of helicopters and oh my gosh. Like bodybuilding gym. And, you know, I was like the, Wah! you know, that was me. Mess with me, buddy. I was martial artist. Kick your butt. So I know it was pretty hysterical. And then one day I was dating this guy or trying to date this guy that I really liked, mm -hmm. but he would never kiss me. We'd go out and stuff, but he was always just one step. And I thought, and somebody handed me this book on feminine and masculine energy. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at that and I thought, oh, huh, I don't want to be one of those wussy, sissy girls. Yeah. <laughs> with your hair and your nails and your makeup. So I literally <laughs> had a problem with women. Mm -hmm. I thought feminine meant the goddessy ethereal whatever yeah. right, right couldn't do any cool things all right but i decided okay what the heck so i put on a dress i found a dress mm -hmm. which I so i put on a dress i still wore my combat boots so let's be clear put on a dress and i just decided to kind of just step back a little so mm -hmm. he came to the door knocked on the door i said hello and he kind of looked me up and down and you know like kept thinking just relax just step back just try this out and I could see him change. And we walked out to the car and instead of just getting in the car and driving, I went to the passenger side mm -hmm. and waited. 
And he came around and opened the door and I got in and I was like, okay, I can do this. <sighs> kept breathing, kept relaxing in, kept allowing. And I could see his whole body sh start to shift. Mm -hmm. And he looks over at me and goes, something's really different other than the dress. And I'm like, huh, interesting. <sighs> Don't let go. Da -da. And so all of a sudden he is acting completely differently. And we got out of the car and he came around the car and he just grabbed me and kissed me. And I was like, whoa, wow. okay, well, what's up with that? I know. And I realized when I'm driving in, there's no space. Mm. So how can women know, you, the question was, one, when you're driving in and making all decisions and taking up space and your voice is tight and you're talking really fast and all this is happening because you think you have to do that to get, the, nobody else is going to handle this crap if I don't. Right. If you are frustrated, you're probably in your masculine energy. Mm -hmm. if you are angry. You are probably in your masculine energy. And part of the reason you're frustrated and angry is all that is because you're scared that if you don't handle it, it won't get handled. Right. So you don't relax. You don't take space. You don't mm -hmm. lean back. And when I talk to men and I work a lot with men, mm -hmm. they're like, well, you know, I'm not going to get into a fight over, you know, this or that or the other. So I don't want to create conflict in my relationships. If she wants to drive the show. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. But then they don't feel sexually interested. Mm -hmm. So they, they start looking at you as like their mom. Yeah. You yeah. know, or their brother or somebody competing. So even taking a stopping your car before, you know, if you drive home, even before you walk in the door, mm -hmm. instead of thinking of all the to do's and everything else, right? If you were to take a breath, turn on your favorite music, maybe not heavy metal. I like rock. Maybe turn it on to something a little bit lighter. A little um, bit mellower. Yeah, a little bit mellower and do some breathing. <clears throat> and just think about even just leaning back instead of leaning in mm -hmm. even that subtle little shift right there relax your shoulders mm -hmm. Think about allowing instead of driving in what would happen and experiment with that it's really fascinating so the big thing is to experiment and if you're like well if i don't do this then nothing's ever going to get done well you got to remember that you probably trained everybody in your life that you're going to handle it exactly so there's fear behind what happens if I just let go. Mm -hmm. I work with a woman who was, her company was making over, I think it was $160,000 a month. Right. Mm -hmm. And she's, really in her masculine boom boom make it happen make it happen make it happen and her team's frazzled and everybody's frazzled and I started working with her and the first thing I did was say you got to unplug take four days off and and take to go and she's like oh I can't do that and I'm like yes you can you're going to do that so no phone no tick tocking while she's out stacks mm -hmm. watch birds do when she came back she was in a different flow so now she's working half as much and in one month went over 300 grand. Oh, wow. So she worked half as much and doubled her income. Exactly. And she's still astounded. Like, what is this magic? Right. Mm -hmm. but I taught her breath work. I've been teaching her nervous system optimization and that idea that it won't fall apart. Right. If you create space. So part of the feminine is also space. Mm -hmm. Your brain is going a million miles an hour all the time and you can't sleep well and all that's happening like that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have space. And the feminine works best in space. Okay. Right? In the ability to create. Like mm -hmm. if our world was full, I mean, you can think about biology. One egg drops. And while that's happening, you know, the pregnancy can happen, but you're not going to get pregnant twice because you need space to create a child. Mm -hmm. The room is full. Nothing's happening in there. That's <laughs> so true. That, yeah, that's true. Right. Right. So even just basic biology, right? Mm -hmm. if, a, if a tree is overtaken, every all the saplings under it, they don't get light. They don't have space. They don't grow. Mm -hmm. 
So part of what really the genius is by combining both is like I am hyper-organized, very structured, and in the flow. And it's like, how do you do that? Well, because I create space in my structure. Hmm. <laughs> so That's awesome. I love that. I like structure because structure, when I get up and I know that I'm doing this, this, and this, and I'm getting my stuff done, I can be expansive in that. I give myself mm -hmm. four hours. I get up and I have four hours till I have to go to work. Mm -hmm. And in that, I work out. But if all of a sudden I decided to stop my car on the side of the road and get off and walk along the stream, I have time to do that. Mm -hmm. So structure with space right. means that you can flow in and out of the masculine during the day. So I can go from creating, writing something really awesome to turning around in the next hour, coaching, you know, a nine figure business CEO that like and taking control of him and making things happen mm -hmm. in my masculine. And then take a breath and go over here and like hang out on my deck with the birds. Hmm. Very cool. I like that. I like that. The thing is, is that, you know, especially as women, we're not used to having that space. We're always used to our day being full of stuff that we have to do one right after the other. It's so, right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I have restructure. I had a child. So just so y'all don't know, I mean, I love it when men sit around going, you have to have your hour, your two hours of power where nothing distracts you and whatever else. Clearly they have a wife handling the kids and the laundry and the food and right. You know, like, cause I grew up in that, you know, I was a business. I started online business in 1992. Mm. The first women to make money online that wasn't in the porn industry, mm -hmm. the porn industry built the internet. Right. right and so right. it wasn't often, right. That was happening, but everything was masculine oriented and all the guys are saying, Oh, you just do this. And I'm like, Dude. like when I had a child, I was like, really? But I, so I had to build in space in, but it was the structure because mm -hmm. like in the morning on Saturday mornings, when I get out of bed, I literally take all the bedding off with me as I'm getting out of the bed mm -hmm. and it goes into the laundry and I walk in and throw it in the laundry. Yeah. And then I do my cleaning. So by, you know, 6 a.m. on a Saturday, I'm done with my laundry and cleaning. Nice. I, I know. But so systems, efficiency, all of that masculine oriented allows me then to have this expansive time. That's true. That's true. Huh. Interesting. So do you also think uh, that women being too much in their masculine and not having enough harmony uh, also may, may be responsible for some of the, you know, negativities that we have going on with uh, mindset, um, you know, emotional stuff that we have, and even maybe physical ailments? Yes, because so everything there's there's what i call these five innate i n n a t e systems that we all have right energy chemistry emotions physical mental right mm -hmm. these five and eight systems need to be in harmony because they all work together so if we're driving in our masculine we're living up in the physical and mental mostly mm. so we're forgetting energetic chemistry and feeling right so when those are the, before we're born. I mean, when we're born or the, when we're created, energy and physical matter make an agreement, right? That's the feed, that's when cell division starts. Mm. So collecting energetic, which is masculine, feminine, flow, and all that. Right. Eh, the rest of these systems don't work very well. That means your chemistry gets out of wonk. That's your nervous system, mm -hmm. right? Your chemistry gets out of wonk. Your emotions become unstable. Right. All of that also leads to hormonal deficiencies and problems with hormones and everything else, because you're run by that. Mm -hmm. That leads to physical and mental problems. Right. Right. So I, yeah, to be in flow with nature in the laws of the universe means that you need to be in the ability to flow back and forth. Right. Right. Yeah. That's so, to me, that's so intriguing that how, we are connected to nature and just how our bodies really function. And we have to be in that balance and harmony, you know, to be at our optimal best. Absolutely. Cause we are created out of nature, right? We are nature. Mm -hmm. And so when we, when we believe that that's not true, like technology is masculine for the most part, right? Right. Right. And we're sitting here looking at our devices, our eyes focus inward. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as our eyes focus inward for a long period of time, our vagus nerve and our nervous system is affected and we're in fight or flight mode. Oh, wow. That's why when you go on a road trip or go on vacation, 
you feel so better, much better. Your eyes separate. Mm. You can feel them. If you look at devices, sometimes I'm on this thing like 10 hours a day. Right. But I live in a three story. I'm in the treetops right here in front of me is a huge window. Mm-hmm. So I'll look at you, right? My, I can feel my eyes come in. And then when I feel the tension there too much, I'll look up and right over the top of my glasses out into the treetops, right? And I feel my eyes just relax. Mm. So all day long, I'm managing the masculine. Masculine is in, right? feminine out. Wow. So long, even at that micro practice, I'm working on my masculine and feminine energy. Yeah, that's great. I mean, again, what you just taught us, very simple strategy, just your eyes, what you're looking at. Yeah, your eyes are your brain. Yeah, your eyes are your brain on the outside of your head. Wow. So if you're constantly looking at your phone and you've got all this all day long doing this or looking at a screen or whatever, you can feel it. Look Mm up, go look out somewhere and feel the your eyes relax. And at first they won't. If you've been doing this for most of a long time, they won't even relax it'll take a while mm. the same way that we need to have be out in the sun, not sun, but the outside mm-hmm. before 10 AM in the morning, we need 10 minutes of outside time. Right. Why circadian rhythms. Mm. If you believe that you can stay up till midnight and only get six hours of sleep every day, you're destroying your hormones. Mm. You go to bed at nine 30. I get up at four 30 and my sleep is number one priority. For, and this is from somebody who used to say, I'll sleep when I'm dead and lived on three hours of sleep for decades. Oh, wow. And, and like nothing, nothing is worth not sleeping well because at night, the first thing that happens, you know, when you get that second wind, mm-hmm. right? That's not second wind for you. Those were the hormones trying to clean the gunk out of your brain for the day. And if mm-hmm. you're awake when that happens, you think you're a night owl. But what you really just did is not clean your brain. And then all the hormones that are supposed to release at night to help you don't, and you can't catch sleep. You can't fix that. Mm. And that's masculine. Mm. Now you're changing your feminine profile chemically towards more masculine because you're the masculine dominance will come up to try to keep you awake the next day. And you'll want carbs all day long. Mm. Very interesting. Well, this has been amazing, Tanya. Thank you so much. I can't, I mean, I can't even count the number of knowledge bombs you've dropped. I've been trying to keep up with you. (laughs) So do you have any final thoughts for the ladies that are watching and, you know, in terms of creating that harmony for themselves? Yeah. I think just understand that fear is probably driving that masculine energy that you have going on and you won't lose anything. You'll be stronger, more Mm -hmm. productive, anything that more optimized, anything that you're afraid will be compromised. If you start driving so hard, it's not true. You will be more resourced when you find the harmony back and forth, when you know to lean in and when you know to sit back mm-hmm. and even micro practices, even right. just now when you're listening to this, if you just take your shoulders and relax them back, mm-hmm. just breathe in and lean back a little bit, your nervous system will go, Oh, mm-hmm. right. And then just realize how often you lean in. Yeah, very. Yeah, definitely. I I do lean in a lot. (laughs) Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Just that, just the lean in, lean out. And when you're talking to somebody, same thing, lean in, lean out, just find out, give yourself some space Mm. and just see what happens just with that. Yeah, very cool. I definitely am going to experiment with some of that stuff and and figure out how to be more in harmony. Again, Tanya, thank you so much. Is How can people get a hold of you? I'm sure there's going to be tons of ladies who are going to want to hear more from you. Absolutely. Well, if you know how to spell my name right, T-A-N-J-A, Diamond, I'm on 20 pages of Google. You can't, you can't not find me. (laughs) If you can spell my name, you will find me. And my main social media that I hang out on that I drop all these kind of uh, gems and things on is uh, Facebook. I know it's kind of old school. I've been there for a long time. So Uh, yeah, might break out into the TikTok world, but it's kind of masculine. I'm just saying. Uh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, thank you so much for being here and for sharing all of this amazing knowledge and insights. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.
Okay, and that is it for today's episode on the art of balancing masculine and feminine energy with our special guest, esteemed polymath, business and life strategist, five-time number one international best-selling author, two-time international TEDx speaker, Tanya Diamond. I want to thank Tanya again for joining us today and for sharing her incredible wisdom and insights with us. And also thank you, beautiful soul, for being here with me today as well. As I've mentioned before, I don't believe in coincidences and you, Bright Light, were meant to be here to receive whatever it is you were meant to receive from this episode today. So keep it up, keep showing up and making progress towards unveiling your brilliance. Now, if you're here with me live, be sure to join me in the second half of the show for Brilliant Connections, where I get to meet you and get to know you and you're able to ask me any questions that you might have from today's episode topic or the show. If you're catching this on replay, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you'll check out our previous episodes as well on winwinwomen.tv forward slash show forward slash unveil dash your dash brilliance, as well as join me live next week. Remember, like Maya Angelou said, a woman in harmony with her spirit is like a river flowing. She goes where she will without pretense and arrives at her destination prepared to be herself. So be in tune with your divine feminine energy and be in true harmony with that flow, authenticity, and confidence that creates you, beautiful lady. Now, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next week. My ladies here with me live. I'll see you in just a few seconds. <music>